I'm back once again. It has been quite a busy week. A friend of mine gave me a heads up on a Muji competition. So Muji is actually a Japanese brand. They have amazing products, seriously. Like I love their pens, I love their notebooks, I love their washi tapes, I love everything about Muji. What I decided to draw was actually a lady in kimono so to represent the Japanese culture that also kind of reminds me of my good friend Momoko hey Momoko she's from Tokyo she was a batchmate of mine from Qatar Airways unfortunately due to our busy like schedule and everything back in Doha we didn't really spend much time together only maybe once in a while Momoko she's Japanese right but she doesn't seem to be like our typical Japanese girls she claims that she's Jamaican and all I can remember about her is that she's so crazy about Shakira She has crazy wild hair Just like Shakira and she's gorgeous Seriously, she's very very gorgeous But she's a really really such a sweetheart I will never forget what she did for me And it was to attend my wedding It was two years ago It was so surprising because I didn't expect it from her at all So she spent about a few days in Singapore A few days before my wedding and a few days after my honeymoon so we had so much fun together we had a lot of catching up and I remember the night before my wedding we stayed up together <laughs> and the reason was that I couldn't sleep so we decided to talk and we sat outside my corridor near the stairs and we had such a long talk and thank you so much Momoko for like giving me that talk and it was a really nice like bonding session together she wore a kimono on my wedding day and i swear to god i mean i didn't expect her to wear that usually when you attend a wedding and everything you, you tend to dress up according to the culture or just wear dresses and stuff but to have so much pride in your cultural outfit i salute you seriously momoko i really salute you for that and of course she was the highlight of the wedding and Plus, of course, with her personality and her, you know, her friendly, crazy um, character. She's such a joy to be with. I've always loved Japanese culture, especially their food. Like, I can eat sushi, like, practically any day, every day. And also, um, being in uh, Osaka, uh, I think it was in 2009 or 10 around there. I had a flight there. It was a really, really long flight. So, whatever it is, you know, I enjoyed myself truly. But there was one incident. It was a bit scary though. I was late at night. I was chatting with my friend on Messenger. Yeah, back in the days, it was MSN Messenger. So, um, suddenly I heard some knockings on the window. It was a bit freaky because it was late at night and I didn't dare even to move like away from my bed I just got stuck there and told my friend to just like accompany me throughout the night on online and the thing is the next morning I decided to open the windows and guess what I saw firstly I didn't see anything in front of the windows I mean there's no trees no buildings no nothing it was just empty space secondly we were I mean I was at the I think the 9 or 10th floor so can you imagine I was so freaked out I just went up in my room and I just went out went shopping and everything tried to keep myself busy and try not to think about it despite that scary encounter you know nothing will stop me from enjoying my trip in Japan in Osaka so anyway this is for you Momoko a lady in kimono I use awesome Muji pens Thank you, dear husband, for getting all these three pens, even though I use only two. And um, these pens are really, really awesome. They are gel ink, and they really glide on the paper like, very, very smoothly. And the colors are incredible. I love, I love, I love, I love Muji products. So, thank you so much for joining me today. So, i catch you guys real soon, and have a gorgeous, gorgeous weekend ahead. Bye!